Hey guys, I want to take the Slack clone and deploy it live onto real servers so you guys can try it and also learn how to take our server and our Docker images and Docker Compose and actually put this on a server, run it, and let users all over try it. Now to do this, it's really helpful to have our Docker image images hosted somewhere. So I'm going to show you in this video how to host your Docker image on Docker Cloud. So if you don't already, come over here to uh, Docker Cloud's homepage and create an account. I already have created an account and the first thing I'm going to do is click on repositories and create a new one. Now I already used my uh, private repository but they give you a bunch of public ones so you can just create a public one if you want everyone to see it or if you haven't used your private one already, you can create a private one so only you can uh, grab the Docker image. But I'm going to make mine public. And the name of this, I'm going to call Slack Clone Server. And that's just going to match the name that I have on my computer. But you can call this whatever you like. And uh, you can give a description, but I'm just going to go ahead and create it. So now that I have it here, I can uh, push this guy up here just as it says here so you can copy that and uh, what we're pushing is our docker image now you need to make sure and log in with the command line tools over here if you haven't already it'll prompt you when you try to push like uh, we're about to do or you can just type docker oops docker login I believe to log in and you just want to log in with your credentials you have uh, here so what we're gonna do is say docker build now normally we've been building like this, but now we need a new name for our uh, image. So mine is binawad slash, and this is the name of my repository, or my image. And then I'm going to tag it with latest. Now it's a good idea to take your Docker images and version them. So you could say um, v1, or you could just say 1 here. But since I'm going to be making more changes to the image, most likely I'm just going to call this latest for now. And then when I have the first release, I'll go ahead and start versioning this. Um, so this last part is called the tag that I have as latest. And then I chose Binawad here as my username. So that's what the first part is. And then here is that part. So I'm just going to rebuild uh, the Docker image that we have here um, with this new name. And it should just read everything from cache since... Uh, I've already built the other image, so that's the nice thing about Docker is it caches everything, so it actually won't do an npm install or any of that stuff. And then after we um, do this, we push it. We're gonna push it up. So Docker, paste that in. Docker, push, and our tag name is latest. So it's basically just pushing up our image to the cloud over here. And then when that's done, I should be able to refresh and see it pop up over here. I guess it's still going. And then when it's on the cloud, over here in Docker Compose, instead of using Slack clone server, I can use oops, I can use Binawad slash Slack clone server and grab the latest version. Um, and so instead of grabbing this from my local uh, Docker's images, it'll actually search for this guy, which is hosted on um, Docker Hub, or I don't know what this is called, Docker Cloud. And then whenever we make changes, what we do is we re-push the image up here, and then we can uh, pull the image with Docker Compose. Um, okay, so that's all done. If I refresh over here, I don't know if I see anything different. All right, we can see we have our latest tag right here. Cool. So when that's there, I can do Docker pull and do my image. So bin a lot slack clone server. So after we, if we were to make changes to our Docker image and then run Docker push, if we wanted to get the new changes, we can run Docker pull on that and that'll get the new ones. Um, well, we haven't changed anything, so we don't need to change that. But now you guys 
can download my image if you want and you can put out your own image and uh, you can now share your docker images this way so now my docker compose I can use uh, my image that's on docker cloud or I could just use my local one um, like that depending on what I want so pretty cool and we're gonna be using this because when we post our code on a server we need to get our docker image from someplace one method of doing that is to just SSH the um, docker file into the um, server you're gonna build it on but you're also gonna have to also SSH and all these other uh, files or get them there so it's nice to have to just build the image push it here and then you can pull it from all these different places so that's it for this video guys thanks